So, today we'll be discussing about how to get rid of unwanted background sounds whenever you record any samples or you're doing recording on mic and you get that unwanted noise sounds or unwanted clicks that gets recorded into your feed. I'll be using a software called Audacity. It's an audio editing software and it lets you edit the audio in many ways and how to incorporate that software into Ableton Live. So let's open Ableton Live. To demonstrate this, I have an acoustic live session from Kumbaya. It was recorded with mic, so let me show you this. I'm grabbing this raw audio clip into my Ableton Live. Let's have a listen to it. Can you hear that noisy background sound? So that's the sound we're gonna get rid of. There is an unwanted noise kind of a sound behind so we'll be editing this. Double click on the clip. This clip will open into a clip of your editor below and inside the sample section click on edit. I have incorporated my audio CD software into the editing part of Ableton Live. We'll go to the sample section into clip view editor, click on edit. And this will open the audio clip onto the audio CD software now to reduce to get rid of that noise sound. We need to select that part in which we have that unwanted element. And then go on to effect and click noise reduction. Now there are two steps that you need to go through to reduce your noise. First is you need to feed in the amount of frequencies to the right sound software so that the software can recognize what kind of the voice, the sound, the software needs to compress down. We're gonna be clicking this first, get noise profile. As soon as we click on this, the software has grabbed this part of the sample as an aim to reduce the noise from the same sound. We're gonna be selecting the whole clip. So what I will do is go to noise reduction and now we're going on to the step two. There are three things in step two. First is noise reduction. That is the noise that we have selected for the software to reduce. Second is the sensitivity. Sensitivity works like a resonance, same resonance that it works in a filter section or a synth section. This works as the point that squeezes off the unwanted parts in the samples. And the third is frequency smoothing bands. Alright, these are the EQ bands that gives us a nice smooth curve towards your noise, so that it gives you a very subtle out curves for your sound. For this, what we'll do is let us increase my noise reduction to 15. Sensitivity to 3 and then frequency smoothing to 10. Press OK. Now to save the sample, just simply go to the file and export as a WAV. A new test wave towards the desktop and you need to save under different name to make a comparison between the raw and edited audio clip. Let's have a listen. That was it. 
Okay, now the second part is how you can incorporate your editing software into Ableton. So simply you need to go into the Ableton Live, click on Live Click, on Preference, and then go to the File folder, go to the Sample Editor, just click on Browse. As soon as you click on Browse, go to your Applications and select Audacity, and boom, that's it. It's done. So whenever you double click on your clips in the sample section, as soon as you click on edit, Audacity opens with the sample you want to edit on. So there was a small knowledge that I wanted to share with you all. Now, if you have any questions on how to do this, go ahead and put those in the comment box down below. I'll help you out as much as possibly can. See you. See you. See you.